Hello everyone, this is Aki from Tech Info Media. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to downgrade the Galaxy Note 3 and the model that I have is a Verizon model. Model number is N900V and uh, a request uh, from my viewer that uh, how to downgrade this uh, Galaxy Note 3 Verizon from Lollipop to KitKat and also will it be possible or not so i am also doing it for the first time and i am also not pretty sure that it will be done or not but let me try it first I want to tell you before starting the procedure that what we need or what the things that are required He is using this mobile and he is uh, having actually a lot, a lot of applications or maybe games, etc, etc. These all things uh, will be get erased if I uh, doing the downgrading from Lollipop to uh, KitKat. Okay. First thing first, you will need to go to the setting. Okay, you will need to go to the setting first and uh, go to your account already that you have uh, having and uh, click on it then the menu key this one is the menu key for Galaxy Note 3 and click the remove account you will need to remove the account first right account is removed okay that's good and the other thing is uh, I forgot to mention that if you having the Samsung account you will need to remove or disable that account also now switch off the mobile and before uh, starting the procedure make sure that your uh, Note 3 battery should be charged around 70 to 80 percent now switch off the set for the time being and you must have a good quality data cable and if you are using a laptop make sure that your laptop battery should be charged also so this is my samsung mobile phone stuff you must have the samsung usb driver install in case if you don't have it then you must install it first uh, before flashing anything on Samsung phones without this driver your dry device will not be detected by Windows and you will not be able to flash anything downgrading from Lollipop to KitKat the Odin software will be needing is the version of Odin 3 version 3.09 this version is required for the flashing a KitKat firmware on the Galaxy Note 3 and the stock firmware that i already download is uh, this one that was in the rar file format i already unzipped that and this is the firmware file the kitkat file and the version is 4.4.4 .4. well everything is ready now i am going to open the odin 3.09 and uh, we'll going to click the ap section and then i will go to that folder where the files are saved this is the firmware file kitkat version 4.4.4 open it it will take a little time now okay it's uh, done and you can see that uh, checking md5 finished successfully okay now odin is ready now we need to boot galaxy note 3 into odin mode for that you will need to click uh, press and keep pressing the volume down key home key and then switch on the set and as soon you see the warning screen that up will be appear in green color then release all the keys I have pressed the volume down key and keep holding it then home key keep holding it and switching on the Galaxy Note 3 
and the warning screen appear i am uh, release all the keys now press the volume up key once it will continue now let me show you and sorry for the this uh, screen line green line is appearing on the screen here i want to mention that uh, the reactivation lock must be off make sure that before starting the procedure of downgrading you must see that uh, the reactivation lock must be off in case if it is not off then you will need to go boot back to stock and deactivate the samsung account that you already activate if the samsung account is activated already then this reactivation lock will be shown not off it will be shown like on om so now the audio is ready and uh, i will need to connect the cable right now and as soon i connect the cable with my note 3 the windows will start installing the driver i'm going to close this window and uh, also you can see that uh, ordin is showing that this device is connected this sign or this color means that device is ready for flashing so before uh, clicking the start option and check the auto reboot you can see that it's uh, auto check auto reboot you will need to uncheck it now press the start option and flashing will be start now it will take time and to be patient wait let the flashing to be completed finally the flashing complete when you see this pass message uh, you can see that the flashing is completed and also you can see that all threads completed succeeded one failed zero and it almost uh, took 6 uh, minute and 17 second the ordin job is uh, completed you can do the reset thing and exit it done thank you ordin thank you laptop and now you will need to disconnect the galaxy note 3 first now it is safe to disconnect the cable from the galaxy note 3 and then you will need to open the back cover of galaxy note 3 remove the battery right now reinsert the battery back and now you will need to boot the galaxy note 3 into stock recovery first you will need to do the this process must before booting the kitkat for uh, booting into recovery the stock recovery you will need to press and hold the volume up key then home key both keys must be press keep holding it press and then switch on the set volume up key home key and switch on the device now and as soon you see the recovery booting release all the keys remove the battery again because uh, the recovery could not be boot correctly so you will need to repeat the process of uh, removing the battery and reinserting it again now again press the volume up key home key and switch on the set again and recovery booting release all the keys and this time i am pretty sure that my set will get boot into recovery now you can see that the first uh, uh, try was failed because the after flashing the any stock firmware set 
start with the updating a little bit and then it reboot that is why i remove the battery quickly as soon the galaxy note 3 samsung logo appear now go to the wipe data factory reset and press the uh, power key then uh, scroll down by pressing the volume down key to the yes delete all user data press the volume key, uh, press the power key uh, it will start formatting your set it will be erased everything will get erased now when it's complete then just uh, power reboot system now press the power key and the set will get reboot and now it will start booting the stock KitKat 4.4.4 for the first time and it will take a time now be patient and wait to finish the first boot of KitKat And uh, finally, the Galaxy Note 3 Verizon model N900V is uh, completed the first boot. Okay, I was looking for this. I got it. Now I'm going to complete my setup screen. And you can see that uh, Galaxy Note 3 the Ryzen model and 900V is uh, finally downgraded from Gal uh, Lollipop Android version Lollipop to Android version KitKat. You can see that the model is N900V and the Android version that I am having right now is 4.4.4. Four. And the build number is uh, something like NK1. So this was the procedure of downgrading from Lollipop to KitKat and uh, someone asked me that will it be possible or not. So I thought that uh, why not I should make a video of that doing this procedure. Thank you for watching and if you think that this video was helpful then do subscribe my channel, like my video, comment if you want to ask anything from me. I will try my best to reply you soon as soon as possible. I will give the link in my video description of the ROM and the uh, other software and uh, thanks uh, once again for watching the video. Goodbye.